Okay. Down. This is where family fun has now become. Cutting it? Yeah. Cut it right down the middle. From here down. You do? Shave daddy? <laughs> okay. Okay, we're done. Ah, alien. <laughs> Since being diagnosed with ALS my perspective on life has not changed. I have always enjoyed living life to the fullest and continue to do so, albeit with a little less physical zest than before. ALS has made life more challenging, but that's life. Initially there was a doctor who said I think you have ALS, you need to go to UCSF. And then it was um, Kathy Lomanher over at uh, UCSF's ALS clinic, who has been Matt's doctor since day one. When Matt was diagnosed, the kids were uh, pretty young. Over time, they could see that their father wasn't doing the same thing as other fathers. So Matt, upon learning that he was maybe going to lose his ability to speak, started reading uh, books in the classroom and started playing more guitar. Uh, Brian, our youngest, was in preschool at the time, and so Matt would play guitar to the kids. And he coached every team he could coach. Matt Cheney is one of those guys that when you meet him, uh, you just feel energy. You feel laughter, you feel excitement. And uh, that hasn't waned, even through this whole battle with ALS. I know there's days that um, the clouds get pretty heavy emotionally, but I also know that the energy that he has just from who he is has really been uplifting not only for his family, his wife, but the community and you know hundreds and hundreds of ALS patients and their families. What keeps me motivated to do all I do is the continued support I receive from family and friends. They're constant overwhelming support reminds me I'm not alone in this battle. I'm also counting on the old rule of thumb, the more you put into something, the more you get out of it. The ALS Association was a, a really strong outlet for Matt to be able to make a difference in other people's lives and to raise money for those things that were important to him, both the research, but more importantly, the patient care. Uh, he has a, a huge and generous heart. This was his way that he was going to make a difference. I think Matt has taught me, when I share it with other patients, that if you have the will to live and you believe that it's not just pity me, but it's look how lucky I am to be able to live one more day. It continues to drive survival, it continues to drive the energy of people around you, it continues to drive the caregivers. And, you know, so I think as far as an inspiration, people look to Matt Cheney. Matt is one of the strongest people I know, both physically and mentally strong. So if Matt being hit with this news that we were going to have some challenges and that this was going to be the big challenge in his life, he took it head on. Knowing Matt Cheney, he'll go spend an afternoon and just watch the kids. He's now got friends and friends and friends, and he doesn't sit alone. He takes great pride, I think, in being there and, and knowing that his name's on the scoreboard. And uh, he's making a difference. And he's there, I think, every year when the, the close of the season laugh hit Little League, there's usually a ceremonial presentation of the Runs for ALS check to the association. And as far as I know, Matt's received it every year for the past 10 years. I learned that making a difference in a person's life doesn't have to be at a huge scale. Matt wasn't trying to conquer the world. He was just trying to make a difference in a person's life, one person at a time. And he did this with all the kids that he coached, and he's done it with all the ALS patients he's advised, and by trying to bring awareness and support to the chapter.